Good afternoon, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. On June 26, 1924, from Madison Square Garden and gave a speech nominating Al Smith as the Democratic candidate for President of the United States. It was a moving and triumphant moment for Roosevelt and for those who knew him because less than three years three years earlier, FDR, who'd himself been the Democratic vice presidential nominee in 1920 on a ticket with James Cox, had been crippled by polio. Up next, we have the story of those critical years in FDR's life when he determined that he wouldn't surrender to his disability. Instead, he fought, going on, of course, to become the 32nd president of the United States and the longest serving president, the only man ever elected four times. From Warner Brothers in 1960, it's Sunrise at Campobello. The script was adapted from a play written and produced by longtime studio executive Dory Sherry. The play was a huge success on Broadway, and with this production, Sherry himself took his play to the big screen. Ralph Bellamy played the role on Broadway and won a Tony for it. But when casting the film, Warner Brothers pushed hard for a more commercially viable star, someone like Marlon Brando. But Sherry, who had already spent his time in Hollywood fighting for artistically daring choices, insisted that Bellamy play FDR on the big screen. The result was one of the great performances of Ralph Bellamy's career. FDR's wife, Eleanor, is played by Greer Garson, who earned an Oscar nomination in the last great role of her career. The title, by the way, comes from the location of the Roosevelt Summer Home on Campobello Island off the coast of Maine. From 1960, directed by Vincent Donahue. Here's Sunrise at Campobello. 